we welcome the honorable guest, Prof. Katsunori Takahashi, a young professor from the Japan University of Economics, as a speaker for today's event. Welcome, Prof., to this event. The Honorable Professor Dr. Haji Azhar Afandi, SAMSC, as a rector of Universitas Pasundan. The Honorable Professor Dr. Haji Atang Hermawan, SAMSCA, CSRS, CSRA, CPF, CMA, as Dean of Faculty of Economics and Business. The Honorable All of Distinguished Professors. The Honorable Director of Postgraduate Programs. The Honorable Head and Secretary of Postgraduate Programs. The Honorable Vice Dean, Head and Secretary of Study Programs of Faculty of Economics and Business. Also, we welcome guests of honor, the Partners in Excellence of Universitas Pasundan. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, let's us praise to the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With this blessing, we are able to be here and join in this important event. Also, salawat and salam be upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who has guided us from the darkness into the light. Please introduce myself. My name is Budi Septiawan. I will be the master of ceremony for today. And we meet at the International Public Lecture, which organized by Faculty of Economics and Business, Universitas Pasundan. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to inform you about the rundown of this event. The verse opening, Second, National Anthem of Republic Indonesia and Japan. And then, speech and opening remarks from the Dean of Faculty of Economics and Business. And then, speech and opening remarks from the Rector of Universitas Pasundan. Presentation of International Public Lecture by Professor Katsunori Takahashi. Question and answer session. Certificate handover for the speaker. Executive summary, then the last one is speech by Vice Dean of Academic Affairs and closing. Now, let's open this event with Basmalah together. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And now let's listen to the National Anthem of Republic Indonesia and Japan. For all of audiences, please be ready.
the happy audience. The next agenda is report and remarks from the Dean of Faculty of Economics and Business to Professor Dr. Haji Atang Hermawan, SA, MSCA, AK, CSRS, CSRA, CPF, CMA. Please, the stage is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh The Honorable Profesor Katsunori Takahashi The Honorable Rektor Universitas Pasundan The Honorable Director of Postgraduate Program The Honorable FEB Unpas Cooperation Partner Domestically and Internationally The Honorable Professors, the Honorable Vice Director of Postgraduate Programs, the Honorable Vice Dean, Head and Secretary, Study Program, the Honorable Lectures, the Honorable Head and Secretary, Doctor of Management Science, Master of Accounting and Master of Management, the Honorable Undergraduate, Postgraduate, and doctoral students, the honorable committee members, and respectable student of APB UNPAS. First of all, let us give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With His grace, we can attend to take part in international lecture activities, which are held regularly every year. Salawat dan salam to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu wa sallam, who has guide us from darkness to light. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask the Dean of Feb Unpas will report on the international public lecture activities which are held in collaboration between Feb Unpas, Postgraduate Program, and Japan University of Economics. One of the programs that can be implemented today is International Public Lecture, with the topic to be discussed is Japan Entrepreneurship Strategies, with speaker Professor Katsunori Takahashi. This topic and implementation of the vision and mission of UNPAS and FEB UNPAS, namely Realizing an Entrepreneurial University. The event was attended by lecturers and student of Feb Unpas, a doctoral of management science program, master of accounting program, and master of management program, as well as Feb Unpas collaboration partner, both domestic and overseas. The number of participants in the international public lecture activity was 290 participants, including once domestic cooperation partner from Malang, Yogyakarta, and Bali, 20 participants. Second, foreign cooperation partner, Korea, Malaysia, and Thailand, five participants. International class student, 183 participants. Postgraduate program student, 18 participants. And Feb Unpas lecture, who attended on-site and online, 63 participants. Ladies and gentlemen, our expectation with this activity is within the framework of increasing insight regarding the Japan economics, international trade, international relation, and international trade politics, as well as gaining extraordinary experience from resource version. Oh, finally, I ask the Dean of Legis if there are any shortcomings and thank Professor Katsunori Takahashi 
all participants and the committee who have collaborated so that today activity can run smoothly and be successful. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Universitas Pasundan atau yang dikenal dengan UNPAS turut berperan serta dalam menggerakkan ekonomi global dan nasional yang semakin berkembang pesat melalui pendidikan di Fakultas Ekonomi dan Bisnis Universitas Pasundan. Pada era digital 5.0, UNPAS pun terus mengembangkan berbagai terobosan dalam sistem pendidikan dengan tetap berakar kuat pada nilai-nilai agama dan kearifan lokal. Sejak didirikan pada tahun 1976, di bawah payung Paguyuban Pasundan, Fakultas Ekonomi dan Bisnis Universitas Pasundan hadir dengan kearifan lokal Sunda yang memberikan warna dan sorak dalam dunia pendidikan. Hal ini sebagaimana tercantum dalam visi Fakultas Ekonomi dan Bisnis Universitas Pasundan, yakni menjadi Fakultas Ekonomi dan Bisnis yang unggul dan berkualitas dalam menghasilkan lulusan yang profesional, inovatif, mandiri, berdaya saing, mampu menghadapi setiap perubahan, memahami teknologi bidang ekonomi yang dijiwai nilai-nilai budaya Sunda dan agama Islam serta berwawasan nasional dan global tahun 2025 Fakultas Ekonomi dan Bisnis Universitas Pasundan memiliki tiga program studi dengan akreditasi A telah lebih dari 30 tahun hingga kini tetap mampu mempertahankan prestasi tersebut elemen penopang keberhasilan karena Fakultas Ekonomi dan Bisnis UNPAS memiliki keunggulan tenaga dosen dengan kualifikasi doktor yang sudah tersertifikasi baik pada tingkat program sarjana, master maupun doktor. Adapun yang menjadi misi Fakultas Ekonomi dan Bisnis adalah yang pertama, meningkatkan mutu penyelenggaraan pendidikan dan pengajaran dalam bidang manajemen, akuntansi, dan ekonomi melalui rintisan pengajaran berbasis riset, kontekstual learning, partisipan learning, dan e-learning sehingga sesuai dengan perkembangan kebutuhan masyarakat dan kemajuan ilmu pengetahuan dan teknologi Yang kedua, meningkatkan mutu dan jumlah serta memperluas publikasi hasil penelitian, kajian manajemen, akuntansi, ekonomi dan syariah di tingkat nasional dan internasional. Yang ketiga, meningkatkan kualitas dan model-model penyelenggaraan pengabdian pada masyarakat. Yang keempat, membangun kepercayaan dalam mengembangkan kelembagaan pendidikan akademik berkelanjutan dan profesi melalui kerjasama nasional dan internasional yang kelima mendorong dan mengembangkan pemikiran yang kritis inovatif dan kreatif dosen karyawan dan mahasiswa yang dilandasi semangat religius berbudaya Sunda dan berwawasan global yang keenam membangun good faculty government dan manajemen profesional dalam mengelola sumber daya perguruan tinggi sehingga menghasilkan pelayanan prima kepada sivitas akademika yang terakhir menciptakan iklim kerja yang kondusif ditandai oleh berkembangnya semangat kerjasama saling percaya dan terbentuknya nilai-nilai bersama menuju fakultas yang maju dan sejahtera untuk menunjang tercapainya visi, misi, dan tujuan Fakultas Ekonomi dan Bisnis UNPAS kami memiliki tenaga pengajar yang kompeten dengan kualifikasi lulusan dalam negeri dan luar negeri serta menyediakan fasilitas-fasilitas yang representatif diantaranya
sejak era digital, Fakultas Ekonomi dan Bisnis Unpas menerapkan e-learning system. Tujuan e-learning tersebut adalah untuk mempermudah para mahasiswa belajar dari manapun dan kapanpun tanpa dibatasi oleh ruang dan waktu. Adapun bidang pekerjaan alumni Fakultas Ekonomi dan Bisnis Unpas yang kami dalam adalah bidang perbankan, wira usahawan, pemerintahan mulai tingkat kabupaten kota, provinsi hingga pemerintah pusat. Fakultas Ekonomi dan Bisnis Universitas Pasundan memastikan setiap mahasiswa dan mahasiswi mendapatkan pendidikan yang tepat dan terjaga kualitasnya tanpa mengabaikan nilai-nilai agama dan budaya. Oke, okay, ladies and gentlemen, the next is uh, let listen to the speech and opening remarks from the rector of Universitas Pasundan to Professor Dr. Haji Azhar Afandi, SMSC. Please, the time is yours. Okay, thank you. My voice is clear, everybody. Clear, Prof. Please. Good afternoon. Our strategic partner, professor from university in Korea, Malaysia, and Thailand. Our important partner, professors and student from universities in Malang, Malang Yogyakarta, and Bali. Unpas professor, lecturer, and student from undergraduate and postgraduate program. Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Sampurasun. The collaboration among UNPAS and various university worldwide is crucial for integrating UNPAS into the global academic community as rector strongly support in the international public lecture. Organize Bas Unpas Faculty of Economy and Business. The term entrepreneurship carried in this lecture is directly linked to Unpas vision, which will undoubtedly offer valuable knowledge, particularly to Unpas lecture and student. Therefore, I express my proposal own appreciation for Professor Katsunori Takahashi from Japan University of Economics, who kindly accepted the invitation to be speaker at this event. We expect that the collaboration between UNPAS and Japan University of Economics will strengthen in the future. I will also want to appreciate the professor and student from national and international university who participated in this seminar as UNPAS valuable partner. I would like to offer great thanks to Professor Atang Hermawan, the Dean of Faculty of Economic and Business, as well as the entire team who have been involved in organizing this event. Also, I would like to extend my appreciation to everyone here today for being part of this prestigious event. Welcome to this lecture. I hope that this lecture will contribute to achieving UNPAS vision. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much, Prof. Dr. Azhar Afandi, for your speech. And to all participants, we finally entered the main event, the presentation of International Public Lecture. And for your information, this public lecture will be led and moderated by Ms. Ratu Hedi, 
and before that I will read the short profile from our moderator her full name is Hajah Ratuhedi Budiarti SSE MM currently her position in this faculty is the head of language laboratory and also she is one of the lecturer from management study program without further ado to miss ratuhedi give it to you and please the time is yours thank you thank you mr budi bismillahirrahmanirrahim assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sampurasun. I'll be your moderator today. I'm pleased to welcome you to the Faculty of Economics and Business International Public Lecture Event Japan Entrepreneurship Strategies Challenge and Opportunity. Konnichiwa, Professor Katsunori Takahashi. Hajime Masite, Ratuhedi Shaida Budiarti, Tomo Simas. Yoroshiku Onegai Simas. Before we begin the main event, let me inform the summary of Professor Katsunari, uh, curriculum vitae. Uh, he's passionate educator in global business with extensive working, teaching, and facilitating experience globally in the university and corporate who strongly desire to help students, learners, recognize the connection between learning and real business situation for personal experience from the Japan University of Economics, Campus Tokyo, Japan, adjunct professor global uh, business course April 2023 until present, and also with, at, the, at the same year, April 2023, as corporate officer, human resources and general affairs uh, at MSY Inc, Tokyo, Japan head of human resources and general affairs department as a corporate management team responsible for developing uh, internal hr process and organizational reform for ipo re preparation his mba in international management at may 1999 thunderbird school of global management at arizona state university concentration organizational uh, behavior and strategy Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Katsunori Takahashi. The floor is yours. Hello, thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. <clears throat> it is my great pleasure um, to extend uh, my uh, <clears throat> the speech presentation here in front of uh, the Indonesian people, not only about the Indonesian people, but also uh, with um, the distinguished uh, the partners, uh, your partners um, in globally. So this is my pleasure. Thank you very much for the invitation. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, can I start with, I will start with my uh, PowerPoint slide. Please, please wait. So can you see my slide now? Okay. Yeah. So today I'm going to talk about uh, the Japanese entrepreneurship challenge and opportunity. The purpose is to give you the insight about um, uh, what is happening uh, for the uh, for the Japanese entrepreneurship uh, situation in general. So let's get started. Uh, first, um, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Katsunori Takahashi, and I'm an associate professor at Japan University of Economics at uh, Fukuoka campus. I think uh, that we had uh, uh, the your, your delegate. Uh, came to the Fukuoka campus a couple of months ago. Is that correct? 
And uh, at that time, I was a uh, uh, visiting professor at uh, uh, Japan University of Economics for uh, Tokyo Shibuya campus. And, um, and uh, but uh, I recently, I joined as uh, the, 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 the faculty member uh, for the Fukuoka campus. I moved my uh, to the Fukuoka uh, to teach at the Japan University of Economics, and my uh, the the major is international business and international relations. I'm teaching about these topics, uh, project uh, the subject at the university. As also, I am a uh, the I myself is an entrepreneur. I'm a, a doing my. Uh, 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 doing my business since uh, 2012. And uh, I'm doing uh, uh, the helping uh, the foreign companies such as Singapore and uh, Malaysia and Sri Lanka, India uh, for the IT, sometimes IT startup companies to come into Japan, market entry consultation, as well as uh, I'm helping the Japanese companies uh, the doing the training and also helping the recruiting uh, as a consultant. I I have an MBA from uh, the U.S. institution, uh, concentration for uh, uh, international business, and uh, my career is uh, the mostly have a HR management and uh, organization behavior. Also, I had a uh, uh, experience uh, the working for the Deloitte consultant. Deloitte Consulting for um, the Change Management Consultant. Also, I've been teaching several universities as well. So, by the way, um, Katsunori Takahashi is a bit difficult to pronounce, is it? Uh, the Miss uh, the Latsu Hedi, can you pronounce my name correctly? Katsunori Takahashi. Bit difficult, isn't it? So, my recommendation is. Uh, you know tonkatsu, katsu, right? Chicken yeah. katsu in Indonesia. Yes. Just call me katsu takahashi. Katsu takahashi. Yes, it's easy to memorize, okay. right? Yeah. Okay, so just call me katsu takahashi. Okay, katsu takahashi. right. Thank you very much. And yeah. let me introduce a little bit about the Japan University of Economics. Um, the, we uh, established in 1965. And we are one of the group of the Suzuki Educational Group, which has more than 30 affiliate schools in, in all over Japan, from kindergarten to graduate school. And um, um, I, we have uh, three campuses. One is in Fukuoka. Fukuoka is our main campus, and uh, Tokyo campus. And um, uh, we also have uh, a Kobe campus. Location is like this. And I think you probably know where is the Tokyo is. And uh, the Kobe campus is a uh, bit in uh, the kind of a bit in the Fukuoka and Tokyo, uh, the near the Kyoto and Osaka. And the Fukuoka is this area, uh, like uh, the, the west and south part of Japan. And uh, we have main campus, we have uh, three campuses. And I used to work for the Tokyo, I used to teach at the uh, Tokyo Shibuya campus, but now I moved to uh, the Fukuoka campus recently. All right, so let's talk about uh, entrepreneurship in Japan. And uh, in Japanese, Kiyo Kaseishin. And um, we have a uh, lot of uh, the, uh, the well-known global companies such as uh, Toyota, Uniqlo, Panasonic, Hitachi, Suzuki, Honda, and the Nintendo. Uh, I think uh, the, the, these companies, you already aware with that. So you might think about uh, Japan is continuously to produce a new business and uh, the, the promoting the new business. Uh, that is maybe yes, but in terms about the entrepreneurship, it is a uh, bit questioning, I'm talking about that. So Japan has many well-known global companies, as you see here, but uh, are there many entrepreneurs as well? That is uh, topics I'd like to talk about it today. 
So um, as some of them are aware that the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor, uh, this is a survey from the US institution and uh, compare with uh, in the global uh, countries about their entrepreneurship indication. And one of the, uh, there's a lot of the, the global entrepreneurial monitor indicators, a uh, lot of uh, the factors. One of the factors is total early stage entrepreneurial activity, DEA. This is about a percentage of the 18 to 50, 54 populations, 18 to 64 population who are either nearest entrepreneur or the older manager of the new business. And uh, this is very interesting result. For instance, uh, look at this chart. This is uh, the Global Entrepreneur Monitor 2019. And uh, they uh, search about the... Is DEA is score 26. It is... Uh, the, the, the score, it, it is ranked in number four among the 50 countries. Also for the female, is number eight uh, for the band 50. So it's relatively, um, the, 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 the more entrepreneurs. The interesting point is the South America countries, like for instance, Chile, look at this. Uh, for the male, the score, point is 41.1. This is number one among the 50 countries. And uh, the, the number two for the, uh, the, 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 the female among 50 countries. And if we look like, uh, you know, uh, actually uh, I couldn't see the Indonesian uh, result, but uh, there was that I checked about the India because India is now we have more uh, guests, there's more entrepreneurship is coming on for the IT area especially. And uh, for the male, it's 14, ranked 14 among 50 countries. And the female is 13, not bad. Actually, it is good. But what about Japan? Japan is 50, 45 for the male and 48 among the 50 countries. So we have a very small number of the entrepreneurs. So the question is, why does Japan have so few entrepreneurs? I will uh, tell you uh, uh, the three points uh, to answering to this question. Number one, this is also a reason as well as a challenges for us. Number one, the small number of Japanese, uh, uh, small number of Japanese are willingness to take a risk for new venture. What do you mean by that? That we are uh, uh, not everybody, but the most of the people, they don't want to take a risk for the new venture. Like in Japan, many people feel a stable and secure company is considered a good choice to work, especially for my parent perspective. Working for the large, stable company is good choice, and uh, work for uh, work for that good company to work for a uh, rest of your life. That was uh, considered as a good life for the Japanese people. But this is a chat. Uh, this is a chat when I teach about the Japanese management style. Um, today, uh, I'd like you to um, to understand that, that especially um, the two parts about Japanese management style. Uh, number one, in the left side, long-term employment. Have you ever heard about the long-term employment? Uh, the 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 miss that that, that uh, uh, sorry. How can I? I have to call your name. Could you say again? Mr. La? Hedy. Hedy. Well, Hedy. Yes. Can, can I call you Hedy? How can yeah, I call of you? Course. Please. So, Hedy, have you ever heard about the long term employment in Japan? Yeah. Yes. Long term employment, yes. Yes, long term employment. That is one of the significant uh, for uh, talk, 
uh, the, the think about the Japanese management staff. And number two is the seniority based promotion and compensation. What is it? Number one, long term employment, lifetime commitment um, the, is you, like, you know, after you graduate from university or like after graduate from the high school, uh, recruiting from the new graduates from college to the high school and stay with the same company until retirement. That is long term employment or lifetime commitment. And uh, in Japan, uh, we have a retirement age now uh, uh, 60, but now the, the more company is expand to 65. Used to be a 50, uh, no, uh, 60 to 65. And basic idea is age and tenure is experience, is contribution. So work for the same company is you can gradually to get more salary and uh, that, that means you can contribute in one company. That is a long-term employment idea. And a penalty based promotion and compensation is pay for age. It is not, you, you know, even in a, a young, you, you know, uh, some company, even uh, young people that contribute a lot for the company, company can pay a lot. But even if the senior age people, they are not contribute well, uh, maybe the less payment, right? But Japan, in this seniority based promotion idea, is salary is, is uh, the function of age. Years of service, uh, you can get more like a salary. An automatic pay increase. Why it was possible? Because of uh, uh, the, after the World War, uh, after World War II, in the picture in the left side, 1945, after the World War II, we were burned out. In the big city, was burned out. But uh, we, uh, after that, we worked very hard. And the rapid, what we call the rapid post-war growth, it was uh, what happened in from 1955 to 1975. Uh, during that time, as long you know, as, as you produce a product, you can sell and you uh, you mean the company can grow. So in that situation, a long term commitment, long term employment, and pay per uh, age, uh, these were the the good management style. So uh, these Japanese time management supported the rapid economic growth after the World War II. So, but the question is, is it still working in Japan? Uh, actually, I don't want to say only Japan, probably all over the world, maybe with also Indonesia and uh, other countries, especially not like Indonesia. We are losing the uh, the the people in Japan. So we are the older people, we are older people, uh, we, we are less younger people in Japan. So in that situation, is this still working in Japan? This is a question. Look at this. And in Japan, more than 30% of the new graduate changed a job within three years. So uh, long term commitment was kind of a, the past story. And uh, as you know, we probably heard about the Buka situation. Recently, the global economy is really complex and very difficult to for, for, foresee the future. That is happening in Japan. So, as I told you, in Japan, many people feel a stable and secure company is considered a good choice to work. Yeah, and uh, many people, like uh, especially my uh, our the, uh, parent age, believe that, but this is, I would say, working for the large companies, rest of your life is still a good choice. I will think about that. This is maybe a good choice, but also there's a lot of a risk because nobody knows that your company will still exist in 10, uh, 20 years, 30 years. So this is, uh, the, what is happening in Japan. So this is the CEO of Toyota, and uh, the the 
very representative the uh, Japanese uh, company. Like uh, I'm uh, coming from the 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 the, the area from the Toyota headquarters is Aichi Prefecture, and my classmate they want to work for the Toyota or Toyota's uh, group company because uh, once you enter to the Toyota, uh, you can work for the rest of your life. And that was the hope from uh, our parents' age. And also, I'm uh, age 57. My classmate at high school, and uh, uh, th they entered the local university. They had a, uh, they wanted to work for the Toyota. But even the CEO of Toyota is telling, it is getting harder to keep lifetime jobs. Akio Toyota, the CEO of Toyota Motors Corporation, of course, uh, they extend uh, their retirement age uh, from age 60 to 65. But even in a Toyota, the large corporation, the, the most stable company, uh, what we think, is still also think about um, the getting harder to keep lifetime jobs. It is now the situation is changing in Japan. Okay, so before going to the uh, the the next topic, I uh, had a the interview with the two entrepreneurship person, and I'd like to share uh, with you about uh, interviewing with uh, uh, these people. Okay, so this is uh, the Motoki Kumagai, uh, the about the ten minutes uh, video. I will show you. Right. Hello, I'm here with Mr. Uh, Motoki Kumagai. Kumagai, san thank Hello. you for joining us. Thank you very much for inviting me. Yeah. So Kumagai san is doing a business by himself, and um, I I like you to tell us about your experience. So could you please mm -hmm. uh, tell us about your background and what do you what do you do right now? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for uh, this uh, great opportunity, Takasan. So to be brief, so uh, my c career, uh, my first career was the investment firm. Then I joined the uh, global luxury company, and I was one of the uh, executive member to manage the business in Japan. After that, I established my uh, entrepreneurial challenge and company in Hong Kong actually and now doing a Japanese sake business uh, which is import importing exporting to Asia as well as running a restaurant business in uh, Hong Kong hmm. that is the <laughs> well, simple uh, introduction on myself yes so yes. I know you are doing a business both in Japan and outside of <laughs> Japan so could right. you tell us about uh, what was the challenge when you do the business and when you started the business? Mm -hmm. So uh, um, in Japan, we the first thing we're going to face as a, a difficulty is the financial part. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, in Japan, they're not the investment industry is not as mature as U.S. Mm -hmm. So basically, we have to rely on the banks. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Japanese best only look at the past, how much we have succeeded. Yes. Unlike the investor who looks forward. Yes. So I think the first challenge is in Japan to launch business is the finance part. Mm. A second part is, uh, as I said, my business is Japanese sake business, which is a very traditional mm. industry. So in order to really do new things in, the, in this industry, I, what I, I have to do is to build trust and the relationship with those you know industry people so i spend the years to get into this industry yeah. to get to know each other then and finally the i could that, that start. Industry very conservative right very very conservative firstly you know i was a kind of very much outsider uh, <laughs> so um yes i spent so i uh, walked around Japan to visit sake producer and you know drink sake together to build a real relationship which mm. took me I think uh, one or two years even to start business mm. so this is the uh, very conservative part of I think today's Japan's industry yes mm -hmm. great wow well that's <laughs> a challenge and um, mm -hmm. 
Now, um, so what do you think about the uh, opportunity to do start a business in Japan? And what is the challenge or what is the threat uh, doing the business in I, Japan? I think Japan is really now changing and Japan has to change yeah. to the future. Mm -hmm. As I said, you know, industrially, a lot of company had to rely on the banks in the past. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, a lot of like, for example, venture capitalists, a lot mm -hmm. of uh, investors are rising up. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, if you have a good uh, idea, I think you can connect yourself with those investors in Japan. So uh, I think uh, for that term, I think Japan has uh, more, have more opportunity to mm -hmm. the future. Also, I don't know how foreigners look at Japan, but uh, uh, now inbound business to Japan is really growing. And so I think that um, uh, there are a lot of like a uh, business chance, especially mm -hmm. like uh, tourism related. Of course, there are other opportunities, but to me, because since I'm working on the restaurant business, so mm -hmm. I see big potential to connect uh, Japan and uh, overseas in terms of service industry. That mm. is my uh, vision uh, about Japan's industry. Yes. Great. And uh, the, 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 I'd like to, uh, I'd like to know about your idea, like mm -hmm. uh, my age or my mm -hmm. uh, parent age, you know, mm -hmm. start a business is a lot of risk and uh, yes. uh, the, in generally, <laughs> In generally, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, that we are supposed to get into uh, the large, good corporation and work mm -hmm. for that company the rest of the life. That was the mindset. I think there is yes. still, uh, that kind of mindset is exist. What mm -hmm. do you think? Is there any change for the younger generation? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Um, before, as you said, you know, when Japan was growing economically like the 1960s to 1990s at the time you know we can we had only big hope meaning you know uh, all the company was growing rapidly yes so as far as we can get into that company we can have like a lifelong employment yeah promising yeah. right but now japan's economy as a whole is not growing unfortunately mm. Mm. and uh, Population is declining. So now we have to look at the world. And those big companies even is not promising, mm. right? So uh, the uh, game has changed. The rule has changed. Mm. So, you know, so for young generation people, uh, I think they are also started to, for example, join like a startup company in Japan, because as I said, now VC, like those investors are, are also growing, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of like a very talented people started to join the startup company. Mm -hmm. So I think my key message is Japan, Japan has to look at the world mm -hmm. because Japanese opportunity is really um, inside Japan. There's still a lot of opportunity, but uh, unlike the past, we really have to consider the overseas market. Mm. That is the uh, my feeling today. Mm. Oh wow, great! Well, wow, that is fantastic. I, I mean, very good uh, the point of view. And uh, like mm -hmm. I went to the Indonesia this summer, mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. could find out there's a lot of uh, the uh, food, Japanese food restaurant, okay. like uh, uh, the yes. no, no, uh, <laughs> Like uh, I know, no, yeah. What do you, what do you call a uh, famous udon restaurant chain? Ah, uh, no. uh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, um, yes. Marukame Seimen. Marukame Seimen, yes. And other right. Japanese yes. restaurant chain there. So yeah, 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 yeah. There, yeah, there must be an opportunity, uh, both mm -hmm. in Japan and outside, but and also, mm -hmm. yeah, it should be the important to to change the mindset mm -hmm. from the the traditional mindset to the right. new mindset yeah mm -hmm. great exactly so, yes so uh lastly do you have any uh message uh, to the audience in indonesia well i think you know in indonesia i think economy is really growing and uh, there are a lot of young generations so i think you know indonesian people can really 
have great chance even inside of Indonesia. Mm -hmm. However, you know, using the, for example, smartphone, mm -hmm. you can always be connected with the world, right? And, you know, I think in a sense, Indonesian and Japanese are, in a sense, very similar, in a sense. Mm -hmm. So um, I think um, business-wise, Indonesian people can really find a business chance uh, connecting those two nations. Mm -hmm. uh, so um also i think um, as i said one of the strengths of japan is still uh service quality service quality that, that is why i'd like to export this mm -hmm. service to the world that's why i'm running a restaurant business outside japan so i think uh, in order to learn this quality uh i think i'd like you to visit japan to experience japanese culture service quality etc and bring back to your nation to uh, apply to your business in indonesia i think uh, that's gonna create a new business opportunity i think great hmm. especially you you know uh, my university is located in hmm. fukuoka and fukuoka okay. is a very <laughs> interesting place to start the yes. business yes so, um yeah uh i i, I think indonesian people uh, please mm. uh, come to the Fukuoka uh, to have mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very mm. much, Magai-san. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Have a thank nice day. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, so, uh, th so this uh, guy, Mr. Kumagai, is a good friend of mine, and uh, he was also educated at the uh, uh, graduate school, uh, the Wharton University of Pennsylvania in the state, and he was a uh, uh, director for the <clears throat> the Good Japan, so um, I will say that he's extremely uh, the different point of view of the type of the person that who can uh, the see the not only inside of Japan but also uh, the outside of Japan globally, and uh, you know uh, the, the, the 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 still are uh, Japanese people. Uh, not so many speak English fluently, and he is kind of exceptional. So uh, the Japan is to a kind of an interesting place because uh, uh, we have a market inside, and um, that we can just uh, we can use only Japanese. Uh, we don't uh, not necessarily speak English, and uh, we could uh, live the, uh, the whole of my life. But uh, the now uh, things is changing now, and we have a lot of uh, the inbound, uh, the, the the tourist is coming, and um, anyway, uh, it is changing now. Uh, Japan is changing. Okay, then uh, coming back to the reason number two about why Japanese, uh, we Japan has uh, so uh, few entrepreneur is because um, <clears throat> reason number two is. Many people think starting new business requires a lot of special skill and knowledge. This is because um, the, the reason is because we don't really have the example of uh, starting a new business at Anthrang U. And, um, and, uh, the, but uh, instead of that, many people uh, think it is a great idea to work for the large corporation to secure company for the rest of the life. So we don't have that uh, perspective to do in the business. But this is also uh, changing now. By the way, uh, if I come back to the, the Global Entrepreneur the indication, uh, indication GEM, and uh, the this is very interesting, uh, the numbers. Like, uh, do you have somebody around you, like an entrepreneur? The person you know, an entrepreneur, like uh, for myself, I have a lot of friends doing uh, the new business, and uh, some of the people already uh, did an IPO, uh, public listed, and uh, from the starting from the small, very small company to growing. And personally, I know a uh, lot of the people. So I know, uh, I have an image about uh, what you should do for doing uh, starting a new business. But generally, uh, the the as a, as I told you before that we don't really have an entrepreneur in Japan. So, like uh, for instance, U.S. 
is uh, the 55 point uh, for the ranked 20 and uh, the female is uh, tw ranked 22. They're still, um, the South America is good for number four and the India is uh, the 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 partially uh, the 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 uh, the oh sorry about that this is not not the male and the uh, female this is talking about uh, the partially uh, knowing an entrepreneur also perspective opportunities I mean um, if you know that somebody entrepreneur around you and or if you have a feel that you can start a business. But India is very huge, good numbers, because uh, the, they are growing economy and uh, they can see the, the opportunity in, in example around you. But instead of that, Japan, please see the both these two indications is um, the 50 among the company, uh, the 50 countries and both are number 50s. So it is mean in general, we don't really see the entrepreneur around you. And in that case, uh, you have no idea what you should do, what you have a capable or not uh, starting a new business. That is in Japan. But of course, and uh, so, so it is kind of related to the reason three, too, like uh, many people recognize difficult to find a new opportunity. Um, it is so, uh, the reason is because you don't really have entrepreneur around you and uh, you can't recognize, uh, you have a difficulty because you feel uh, that you need a, a special technique or special knowledge to start in a new business. In that case, uh, you have a difficulty to find a new opportunity around you. But this, I don't think this is really true, but the, the only the point is you don't really have opportunity for education. That's why, for instance, my university has a course uh, for the entrepreneur course, like, you know, uh, we teach our students about uh, how you can, uh, the, the the process and uh, uh, consider how you can start your new business. And some of the students already started the new business um, uh, uh, in our university. So uh, not only about, about university, but also like a more entrepreneurship education and training by university and others. And also um, another opportunity is that uh, the Japanese uh, government, local government is uh, try to promote, uh, to help the younger generation for uh, uh, entrepreneurship opportunity. For instance, uh, this is a picture from the Fukuoka city uh, where our university is located uh, very close by. And uh, the Fukuoka is uh, eager to uh, help the younger people for the new uh, the business opportunity. And um, also, this is very interesting uh, for the, 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 the foreigner, like uh, we have Japan's first startup business, entrepreneur, entrepreneurial, um, you know, in, incubative, uh, you know, uh, starting visa for the, uh, the uh, for foreigners. So like uh, we are promoting, like, you know, uh, as I say that the interview at my video, uh, Fukuoka is uh, the try to promote and, you know, promote to the, not only about incubate uh, the new business, but also we are also uh, try to uh, promote uh, for the IT company. And now um, the Google, some of the function of the Google and some of the function of the Microsoft is moving to the Fukuoka and uh, Fukuoka, is uh, now uh, uh, try to promote uh, the, for the new uh, ventures. So uh, now, uh, so uh, we, uh, as I say, that uh, we are very conservative Japanese. Com uh, Japanese, uh, the culture is very conservative, and people is not willing to start a new business in the past. But now you are changing. Now, the reason is because the economy is changing, environment is changing and not necessarily for working for the large corporation the rest of life is not uh, safe and secure. Um, the, 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 the starting a new business to find a new opportunity is may must be uh, the, 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 the good choice 
is uh, now uh, the younger generation is try to figure out about that idea. And uh, actually, I have uh, one more uh, interview about it. It's less than 10 minutes. Uh, the Miss Hedy, uh, can, can I, do I have more time for showing the video? Please, yes, of course. Okay, so another okay, 10 fine. minutes. I'd like, yeah, uh, less than 10 minutes, about five minutes. Okay. I'd like to show the, the one more uh, interview for you, okay? Yes. So this is uh, Kiyo Sugita. Uh, he is uh, uh, also a friend of mine, and uh, he is uh, running a recruiting company. Also, as a, also uh, he's also uh, the, the running several uh, companies and, and mentor for uh, for the starting up companies. And he used to uh, live in uh, Indonesia, a past, and uh, he had a uh, good memories in Indonesia. Okay, so this is the interview with uh, Mr. Uh, Sugita. Hello. Uh Hello, Kiyo-san. Thank you for joining us. Hi. Hi. Thank okay, you for uh, inviting me. Thank you very much. And I, I know you are doing your business right now. Why did you start? I, I mean, please introduce yourself. Okay, gotcha. Um, I'm running a recruiting company. And also, uh, I have been supporting uh, some startup companies uh who recently started the uh, ai service or oh. influencer marketing uh and so on um the my passion is um anyway by involving uh the someone's business mm. and the helping them to grow mm. uh throughout that you know experience mm. and also throughout uh my support if uh, I can do something to make the, the society or people around me happier and better. You know, that's great, me. Great. Okay, that is great. So you know about the Japanese starting up situation. Yourself doing a business right now. So what do you think about um, from your experience or um, uh, your friend experience? What do you think about uh, the opportunity doing the business in Japan? Okay, um, you know, as a Japanese, you know, the, we 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 see lots of the uh, you know the issues and problems, you know, in this country. Mm -hmm. You know, having said that, you know, from outside, this country is still big, still number three, you know, the uh, third biggest, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, eco economic size we have here in Japan, uh, and also this country has you know so many many uh, uniqueness uh like uh you know the safety securities and also uh, the aged people population and um uh, consensus driven culture and uh, japanese uh in uh, animations you know japanese unique cultures and the japanese food so there are a bunch of the other unique uh, uh unique things here in japan so uh the ones the uh, um you you you're gonna make the other some uh, either the unique business here in japan um you will be able to find the uh some other chances you know to install the service or product in other regions uh for example you know if you are uh you plan to do something you know related to healthcare business uh since the, the this country's uh, age population is huge uh that's why you know you may be also the install that service and product in other regions like china korea uh the the, the countries you know, who 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 is who's you know the age population is growing um so uh but you know uh aside from you know those you know the good opportunity uh we have a uh, language issues uh, most of the Japanese, um, you know, not easy to communicate in English. Uh, that's why to uh, start a business here in Japan, uh, in most of the case, you need to communicate in Japanese. You know, that's uh, one of the difficult point uh, for non-Japanese to do a business in Japan. Well, great. 
Uh, uh, but, but by the way, I know you are working with a lot of uh, the, 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 the non-Japanese people in your company. So how do you like to manage uh, that kind of the uh, team in Japan? Is that a challenge or you like that? Um, yeah, I like that. Good. Um, since, uh, you know, um, uh, the, my, my, my team, uh, we have uh, you know people from eight different countries. Mm. Uh, that's why uh, to 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 like uh, to to do something together, uh, we have to communicate clearly mm. and uh, simply because we can't read uh, between lines. Mm. You know, Japanese people uh, likes the word kukyoyomu is a read mm. air or read between the lines. Uh, but you know the, the to 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 communicate or to play together with the uh, international team, uh, we have to communicate really clearly, uh, set the clear timeline, and then uh, you know to give instruction to concretely who have to do this by when for what. Uh, that's why for me, that's a quite you know the easy to do that. Mm. And also the sense of the speed uh, should be way fast. Uh, the Japanese people uh, prefer to carry over the decision to uh, you know next day or next week. Uh, you know this is not my type. You know I I, I want to make decision now and I want to take action now. So uh, the working with the uh, uh, Moji you know national people is quite okay for me. Wow, that is very exciting, and uh, seems like you are doing a, quite a differently uh, from other uh, traditional Japanese way. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Hiyo-san. Um, is there anything to say, uh, something to uh, Indonesian audience? Because you had lived in the Aust uh, Indonesia uh, mm. 20, 20 years back sometimes? Yeah, so and I was back. there. Yes, I was there from 96 to 99. Mm. And uh, during that time in, uh, in Indonesia, there was uh, a lot of crisis, you know, monetary crisis or political crisis, you know, but in Indonesia, people, you know, overcome a lot of difficulties in by themselves. Um, so you have guts, you know, that you have uh, intelligence and you have huge potentialities. That's why, uh, and also, you know, I know uh, lots of the Indonesian people uh, were influenced by uh, Japanese culture, um, uh, and, and uh, yeah. So you know, please come to Japan and then try to find the uh, some of the unique opportunity to do something together, uh, uh, together with us, and also uh, that we will be able to make something great between Indonesia and Japan. Okay, great, great. Thank you very much, Kyoto-san. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, thank you very much. Um, and the, okay, thank you very much. And um, the, this is my second uh, the video, and I wanted to to share with you because um, I wanted to 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 share with real entrepreneurship idea. And uh, the point is that these two people is a quite a different type of the person from other Japanese traditional people because. Uh, they both have uh, the uh, the the first guy Kumagai san had uh, educated in the, the U.S. and also doing the business outside of Japan, and uh, the Kyo san uh, also had worked in outside of Japan. So in that case, um, as I say that the Japan is now uh, environment is changing and um, as I said before that the working for the large corporation. The rest of life is not necessary for the, uh, the good choice. Uh, maybe the bad choice, I guess. And um, the, try to uh, find a new opportunity, try to do something new is necessary, what I think. And um, I was always thinking about uh, the starting a new business. What is that necessary is that is not only in Japan, but also uh, Indonesia and other countries as well. Is I think the first mindset is very important. Uh, what is the mission? What do you want to do? Uh, why you are uh, the living? Why you are uh, working? And also the perspective. 
perspective about um, uh, the other example to other example because you need an example about uh, the real business around you and uh, find out a new opportunity. In that case, um, I am teaching international business and uh, the, the global mindset is very important because um, you have uh, experience, you know about the outside of your country and then you can come back to your uh, culture and to figure out, uh, find out a new opportunity it must be a, bring a new opportunity from the outside of our culture. So in that case, I will think that, you know, exchange with your institution in Indonesia and uh, from uh, also with my university and, and the, you know, students, the both our students exchange and have experience to understand the new culture, understand the new idea. It, it is very, very important to start a new business because uh, the you, uh, your student can get a new perspective and you can, uh, your student can utilize the new perspective and new uh, idea into your new business. That is what I think. Therefore, I think uh, um, the university education is very important. Also, uh, the collaboration, uh, international collaboration, the both university is very, very important. So that is uh, my presentation today. And I will welcome your question, idea, opinion. Anything is fine. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Katsu. <laughs> OK, uh, now we come to the uh, question and answer. Um, OK, is there already? Ha oh, oh, OK, we have student. Please uh, say your name and uh, your study program. Nabil? Ada lagi yang lain? Yes, Nabil. Can't hear. Can't hear your voice, Nabil. You're still mute. Yes. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Clearly. Okay. Thank you for the opportunity. So my question is, how can Indonesia strategically adopt lessons from Japan's entre uh, entrepreneurship strategies navigating the delicate balance between tradition and innovation to foster a vibrant um, a vibrant startup ecosystem that not only aligns with the goals of Indonesia's 2045 vision but also embrace the bonus geography advantage unique to the nation. Thank you very much. That's my question. Oh, okay. So, I'm sorry, but I, I couldn't really... Um... 100% understand your question. Could you uh, ask me again? So your question is, sorry about that. How uh, the, you can uh, adapt to the strategically? Could you say again? Hello, yeah. So uh, my question is, how can Indonesia adapt the uh, strategy of uh, Japan the Indonesia have a bonus demography in 2045 mm. that the vision of Joko Widodo our president and how 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 Indonesia can be like Japan right now when Indonesia have a bonus demography at 2045 mm. Mm. that's my question okay your question is uh in terms of the japanese uh, the entrepreneurship uh, the idea and how uh, we can adapt to the indonesian uh you know the now uh, the bo bonus timing coming yeah uh this is very good question and uh, my idea is um more than thinking about uh profit i think uh the most important thing is how you can uh adapt, have a feeling, how can I say, 
sympathize with uh, the, 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 your part, uh, the, the Indonesia. That is uh, the question, I guess. So, um, of, of course, uh, th there must be the, the, the opportunity uh, for us, but before that, I will recommend uh, the, 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 if I uh, would like to do the business with Indonesia, um, we should have uh, empathy with uh, Indonesian culture, Indonesian people. And the reason that I want telling is because um, I had opportunity in this summer to stay with in uh, Surabaya for one week as a business professor for the local university. And I met uh, a lot of people. I met with a student and uh, I had a very good uh, sympathy about uh, Indonesia. And now I have the feeling I like to do something with Indonesia. Then uh, we can uh, find out. We can find out uh, what is uh, necessary. What we can do. What we can collaborate. Uh, what we can do. Do the business uh, with Indonesia in Japan. That is uh, the process. Uh, my idea. My belief. Uh, I. I. So. You understand what I'm talking about? Is that Anthony? Okay, thank you yes, very yes. much. Okay. Thank you yeah. very much, Professor. Thank you very much. And I had a feeling like, you know, uh, the do, doing, I had a, uh, I had a lecture about the organization behaviors and uh, uh, the HR related uh, to the Indonesian students in this summer. I had a feeling some of the parts in the feeling, we had a sim uh, the similarity with Japan and the Indonesia. So I think uh, I have uh, the feeling like uh, we could do something to collaborate each other, uh, to help each other in the future. That's what I think. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Nabil, next questions from Zahira. Atau mau dibacain aja. Ah, uh, oke. Okay. Uh, professor, I will read the question from Zahira. Good evening, Professor. Uh, from Zahira, yes. uh, Univers Pasundan, Universitas Pasundan. I have a question about the visa that makes it easier for entrepreneurs to do business in Japan. It's about visa. Um, won't this affect Japan uh, business negatively? Mm. How can Japan make sure both Japan and international entrepreneurs benefit fairly from this? Thank mm. you. Okay, I think uh, the, for the, the Fukuoka city, uh, please check with Google. The Fukuoka city has uh, entrepreneurship, uh, the, the foreigners, the visa for the foreigners. And that is more uh, easier to get uh, the, the work, not like a working visa, like a management visa in the Fukuoka. And I guess uh, but uh, uh, to get the visa, you have uh, uh, capabilities and uh, you should have some sort of idea and uh, the, the setting up uh, the, the business in Japan. So I will recommend you to go to the Google to check with the Fukuoka City Entrepreneurship uh, the foreigners visa, and uh, there is a uh, more the, the detail about that. Okay, and uh, we are welcome the the new idea, new uh, entrepreneur, new venture in Japan, and uh, the, we should have a new idea from outside of Japan. It is the right time for us. Yes. Oh, also, uh, one of the, the, the idea from, um, I talked with uh, inter, uh, the director of the International Division of the Japan University of Economics. Um, the, of course, we'd like to have exchange the students, but also uh, we, in the future, would like to do some sort of a anti -start thing, a new start business or entrepreneurship uh, the project with our university and uh, your university, uh, I mean, outside of Japan, to 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 project for starting up a business. 
So in that case, if the, that the plan is very effective and uh, the, the workable one, uh, we may apply uh, for uh, that sort of uh, uh, the, 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 the visa for the Fukuoka in order to realize to, to do in the business in Japan. Okay. Okay, thank you. For we have a next question from uh, Ustad Burhan. Huh? First, I am very sorry. <laughs> yes, the. Uh... Okay, untuk Pak Burhan, please. We, we believe that you have a question for Professor Katsu from UST, UST. Hah? Pak Burhan, mana? Masih di mute nggak? Uh, we have a bad connection with Pak Burhan, so I will read the questions from Ibu Desi. Um, it's about how has Japan commitment to the technological innovation created opportunities for entrepreneurs in recent years? Oh, sorry, could you say again? Sorry about that. How? Yes. Okay, I will repeat the questions. How has Japan's commitment to technological innovation created opportunities for entrepreneurs in recent years? It's about uh, technological innovation. Oh. Yeah. How okay, can Japan uh, the create the technology for the, I mean, uh, recently for the entrepreneur? Is that question? Yes, about commitment to the uh, usually, yeah. yeah, yeah. Usually, uh, the 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 Japanese uh, is a very uh, high commitment to the uh, the quality, and uh, sometimes too much. But uh, uh, we are uh, uh, commitment uh, to the the quality of the service, quality of the uh, the product, and uh, that is also uh, for the people for the entrepreneurship people uh, must have uh, the some same idea. And uh, how it commitment, but um, um, uh, I, 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 I'm sorry, I don't really understand the intention of the question. Uh, but I think that is now, uh, and globally, uh, we have uh, more easily to uh, to exchange the knowledge and the technologies, and uh, also uh, much much easier to get the new technologies and idea. Uh, for the individual, uh, so so that that is why um, the 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 younger, I mean the Japanese entrepreneurs, uh, people had uh, such a new idea, and that is number one. Number two, usually uh, the the new entrepreneur people used to work for the the, the similar industry before. For instance, like uh, IT technology, like uh, AI area, uh, the some people already uh, had worked in a similar industry. They got the new idea about that, so uh, they could uh, the continuity to to keep the uh, the quality level of the product. That's what I think, and um, I'm not sure this is answering to uh, your question, but uh, this is the idea. Is that is it okay? It's okay. Thank you, Professor. Thank you very much. Okay, we have a next question from Ira. Please raise your hand. Ira or Amelia? Amelia. Amelia Afriliani. Is that you? Huh? Okay, please, Amelia. 
Hey, hello props. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Ira Amelia, and I have a question for you. Uh, with many cultural cultur, cultural difference between Indonesia and Japan, can Indonesian entrepreneurs apply the strategies of Japan Japan entrepreneurs? This is my question. Thank you, Prop. Oh, how 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 are the Indonesia? Your question is how the Indonesian uh, the entrepreneur apply their strategy to into the Japanese uh, the business. Is that correct? Is that uh, your question? Yes, Prop. Oh yeah. I would think that you know uh, the first. Um, I will think that the first you. I hope you have experience to uh, at least traveling. But the the, the, the better is you will have a, a studying or working experience in Japan, and you got the feeling about the Japanese uh, expectation, and also understand about the Japanese uh, the, uh, the 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 business need, and then. Uh, then you can also uh, think about um, um, uh, then you can analyze as about the Indonesian uh, you know uh, opportunity and uh, some uh, some uh, some need in Japan already must have uh, in, in Indonesia you have some opportunity and uh, you should also how uh, you should think about how you could uh, arrange much, a, this idea into the Japanese market. So um, I will highly recommend to come to Japan University of Economics to take a, like a one semester, at least one semester to have experience because uh, uh, we um, have uh, had uh, uh, English speaking classes and uh, you can take a class in English or also you can teach uh, study Japanese and you will, uh, you know, uh, we have a lot of uh, the, the circle or club uh, at the student club. So you uh, interact with the Japanese student, understand what the Japanese students need, what the Japanese people need. And then uh, you can apply uh, from the Indonesia's uh, uh, the strategy like uh, opportunity into Japan. Is that answering to you? Yes, yes, Rob. Thank you so much for Thank the. You very much. First of Kasu, we have Pajuanim. He's a vice dean. <clears throat> Please, Pajuanim. Thank you, uh, Ms. Ratu. Uh, I want you to translate my question, uh, Ms. Ratu, to Professor. Uh, saya punya pertanyaan gini uh, Orang Jepang kan uh, Pekerja keras Orang Indonesia itu Nyantai gitu. uh, Apa yang cocok uh, uh, Apa yang cocok untuk oh, apa, Orang Indonesia gitu uh, what kind of? Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Professor Takashi. Uh, I I want I have question. Uh, people, Japanese people is uh, I think hard work, and Indonesian people. What is santai, Bu Ratu? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, would like, you repeat again? Okay. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. It's yeah. not the questions. It's not question. Manga. Okay. Uh, uh, I I know. Uh, uh, the Japanese people is uh, very seriously, seriously in the work and hard work. But different with mm. uh, Indonesian uh, people is very yeah look like easy. Uh, what kind? <laughs> what kind of? Uh, good. Uh, what is uh, what 
what what what kind of entrepreneur i think uh, entrepreneur for uh, for uh, indonesian people what, what do you think oh oh i think i i drew a... <laughs> oh okay uh the, the more <laughs> I see. Um, it is a difficult question. Uh, I mean, but 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 that is good because uh, if uh, the character is different, so we yeah. can, yeah, we can get uh, the new idea. You know, if the character is yeah. the totally same, very difficult to uh, you know have a new idea or a new action. But uh, because of the we are different, that is good. And uh, but I think uh, that a uh, lot. The still uh, the, there are a lot about similarity with Indonesian people in Japan, and um, that's what I thought in my experience. And uh, so I, I cannot tell the exact the idea right now, but I think uh, we should collaborate, and we can yeah. work together. We can yeah. uh, do something. Yeah, sometimes yeah. for Indonesian people, is uh, very difficult is to. Uh, to to find uh, opportunity is uh, in your in your presentation is uh, for uh, for the find the opportunity we need we not need uh, skill and knowledge for the first time uh, what what kind of uh, skill and knowledge for uh, Indonesian people. Uh, mm your your thing oh i see um in general i, I don't yes not, it is not necessary for the indonesian people but also not necessarily japanese people i think uh, in general to uh i mean uh how can i say uh to um to exchange the uh the the the, the people and to have a more um to become a how can i say uh, I can also how can I English sorry about that um the, to to meet the more people to meet the more uh business to see the more opportunity um you know you should we not only about you but also us we should have a, the the new uh example of the existing business or new business like for instance as I say that um, I have a bunch of uh, people who are doing the business. That is why um, I can figure out, I can uh, feel that the process about the new business and also find the new business. But if you don't have that experience, uh, it is difficult uh, to um, to think think about uh, the the how we, you can start a new business, how you can collaborate. So the, my point is to have to meet the more people and to 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 see the the more opportunity and experience and uh, that is uh, yeah my idea. What okay. do you think? Do you agree okay, with that? Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, professor. Thank you very much. So, so that is why uh, sometimes I like to visit your institution and to see the the your people to find out the idea about uh, the, the culture and so on. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining. So you have a good English. <laughs> I don't have to translate your questions. Okay. Now, next question from um, Amelia. The second Amelia. <laughs> okay, please. Uh, hello, good afternoon everyone. Konnichiwa, Professor Katsutakashi. Yeah. Hajimimaste, watashi no namae wa amel des. I am an undergraduate student majoring in management at Pasundan University. You mentioned the Japanese people thinking that working at company is a good choice. And I have to say mind with that. Because within a company, we can focus on our division mm. for intense in marketing. We just focus on marketing. And if in the finance things, we only focus on financial aspect. 
But as entrepreneurs, we must be able in all this area, mm. which I find it's quite challenging. Mm. So if we start our business later due to a prior employment, are there ways or tips for the skill we use in our job can be used to our business later? And do you have motivation to all of us or to people who have same mind with me to start our own business? Hmm. That's all. Thank you. Good. Very good question. Um, yes, um, you say that, um, as I say, that uh, the working for the, the one company, that's of your life, is a I have a question is that a good choice or not but uh, starting with uh, the working for the the company is a good choice to understand about the industry to understand about the function like a finance HL sales whatever because without that these knowledges uh, you cannot start a new business so um so like uh, what I said about the Japanese companies uh, is uh, you know, uh, the lifetime employment is you start with uh, like a foreign and sales, and then uh, the company will uh, the allocate into the like uh, another de department, peer department. You know, you cannot get uh, the you know the deep knowledge about uh, the function, but um, you have a strategy in the future if you like to start a business, but in like uh, this area. I will recommend to, to work for the company first. For instance, if you like to do something with the IT, I will definitely to, to work for the IT company to understand the, the function, to understand about the, uh, the business. Then uh, you can start your business. So my, my point is, uh, you know, um, you should strategically to, to join the company to get the knowledge and uh, understand the, the, the capabilities about the industry. So that is a good idea. Is that answering to you? Okay. Okay, thank you yeah, very thank much. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you have a good choice. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Okay. Yes, we have Bu Endang. This is a lecture from uh, our faculty. Please, Bu Endang. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ad. Good afternoon, Professor Katsu. Good afternoon. Thank you for this. Uh, time I want to uh, ask uh, two questions. The first one I I read from your PPT that uh, number of entrepreneurs in Japan is less than uh, relatively less than the other country. For example, uh, if uh, compare with the uh, India, but uh, right now. Uh, we know that uh, Japan is the industrial developed countries. Uh, so uh, that I want to know, uh, is there a strong correlation between number entrepreneurs with the development of industrial and economic in Japan? And the second question is, uh, what is strong factors that make uh, that Jap make Japan, Japan to become a, a strong developed industrial countries because uh, uh, it's, it's a, a contradiction between number of entrepreneurs with the condition of a Japanese country right now. That is my question. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um. Okay. So can I... Uh... Could you summarize about the, the question number one is, um, sorry about that. Uh, the, <laughs> sorry, is, there, just... is, is there a uh, positive correlation 
between Collaboration. number of entrepreneurs with the development of uh, industrial oh. and economic in Japan. Oh, so your question is uh, if there are any opportunities to collaborate with uh, entrepreneur people in Japan? Yes, uh, that is what is happening. Like, uh, for instance, uh, I'm involved in the, one of the society that uh, the, the, the we have, uh, uh, the, like, you know, you met the, uh, these two, uh, the, the entrepreneur I did an interview in a video, was I met uh, at that kind of uh, entrepreneurs, uh, the, the, the society. And of course, we have that kind of the meeting inside in Japan, but still uh, compared with uh, like uh, starting up uh, uh, like, you know, environment in, uh, you know, uh, in uh, the Silicon Valley or other country, we are a bit uh, weak about uh, collaboration with uh, with the entrepreneurs. That is uh, the, the one question because uh, as I say that uh, um, to understand about the other people's practice, is good ideas to how you can you know uh, you know utilize into your uh, uh, the practice. So, so yeah. So I think uh, number the number of entrepreneurs is not the only factor that make the Japan uh, become a, a strong industrial countries. Because if we see uh, India in India, uh, there are more entrepreneurs than Japan, but India is still developing countries i think mm, mm, mm. so i think uh, it's not uh, it's not the only number of entrepreneurs that make uh, japan uh, oh. become a uh, industrial countries but what, oh, what other I factors see, I that see. i see yeah. i see i understand now um yeah that is true um the 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 the, the survey i introduced today was focusing for the entrepreneurs uh, indication so uh, that is, you know, uh, only focusing for the entrepreneurs, uh, the people. So not not everybody's uh, the survey. So that is true. But still, um, I still I also have a feeling that you know uh, the Japanese can the culture uh, entrepreneur is feel a uh, lot of the risk, and uh, people does not want to start the the startup. But the some of the people we have uh, the, the the information and some of the people will get uh, the fund from the venture capital, and there, there's some sort of a difficult differences between uh, the people who have a knowledge or uh, the network and experience and uh, the people in the ordinary people is a totally a uh, different uh, the uh, environment. Yeah, true. Is I that... think it's the, the important the, the important is uh not the number of entrepreneurs but the qualified entrepreneurs mm. I think. Mm, 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 mm. And uh, right. So if you have a uh, different indication like uh, for the survey, uh, there must have uh, the different result with coming map. But uh, I I just uh, use uh, the one of the indication today. But uh, your idea is. Quite interesting, and um, the, yeah, that we should discuss. I would like to discuss with you about that. And uh, could, Thank could you. you could you repeat again about your second question again? The second question is, uh, what the other most factors that uh, make uh, Japan uh, right now is the uh, developed uh, industrial countries, beside the entrepreneurs, beside the aspect of entrepreneurs. Hmm. Well, um, the fact is, I said that uh, I have uh, uh, the feeling that now uh, it is changing compared with before because uh, some of the new entrepreneur is uh, the doing uh, the successful, uh, but still we don't really have a unicorn company uh, which was started from the entrepreneur. So therefore, that part is um, uh, we are behind from the US and other country, but but uh, now our uh, environment is changing. And um, and also there's an example for the younger people uh, start a business and, uh, you know, like, you know, I'm uh, age 57. And uh, when I 
was 30, I went to the United States for my graduate education. At that time, in the U.S., I found out that the, 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 the more, you know, uh, new uh, freelance people, freelance people is uh, uh, not uh, working for the company, uh, starting to uh, do in the, my, their business by himself, by themselves. What you call the uh, freelance people is more coming up in the United States. And I was very surprised. Wow, freelance people, how you can, how they can uh, get the money. I had no idea about that. But now there's a lot of, lot of also maybe in the Indonesia as well, we, there's a lot of uh, uh, business uh, that you can uh, do as a freelance. So uh, environment is changing and Japan is also changing. So is that answering to you? Okay. Thank you very much, Bob. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you for your Thank explanation. You. Thank you very Thank good you. question. Thank you, Ms. Thank Eddie. You. Thank you, Ibuen Dang. Your next questions from Pa Burhan, from Pa Made. Oh, okay. I will read the questions. Okay, from Pa Made. How many percent entrepreneurship in Japan uh, in recent days? And Professor Ken. Uh, tell us about dumping politics on international trade. It's from Pa Made Sumartana, uh, Universitas Murah Rai, Bali. Thank you. Dumping uh, for the international trade? Dumping what? Dumping politics. Politic dumping dump politics in, for uh, import, uh, export and import. Uh, trade, international trade. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I don't really have the number of uh, also information, so uh, difficult to answering uh, to that. But uh, sorry about that. Uh, that is not my area, so a bit difficult to uh, answering. But uh, uh, of course, it used to be uh, that we had uh, dumping uh, policies uh, in order to protect the Japanese. Uh, they the industry also uh, for the uh, uh, agricultural industries that uh, we also still have thought of uh, uh, the policy. Uh, but sorry about that, uh, th that uh, part is not really my area. And uh, in order to answer the correctly, I, I need to beat the, the preparation for that. Sorry about that. It's okay, thank you. We still have uh, many questions for you, but oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm very I'm 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 sorry that the time is up. Hey. Yeah. Wow, we... your student is very good. <laughs> yeah, they were asking a lot of the questions. Yeah. Very good students. Yeah, we have a great questions. Uh, um, okay. Um, so from your. Um, Question and answer. Um, let me summary the, uh, the 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 answer that we still have a similarity from the uh, uh, from the culture, from the um, yeah. But we still we also have challenging in our uh, community right now. But uh, I believe that the entrepreneurs will be growing. Uh, uh, up and up in the future. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. You, okay. uh, your business, your your uh, Indonesia, your economy is growing, and yeah. uh, the, the, your income is more uh, the the you know uh, the growing. So I think there must have a lot of opportunity for entrepreneurship. Well. Yes. So this is great. Yes. And also because of the social media, uh, mm -hmm. we have a lot of uh, influencer um, inform mm -hmm. about the entrepreneur. So I, I kind of believe that the young people now have uh, interested for the entrepreneur. Uh, oh, I see. That's good. Yeah, yeah. So influencer the is uh, the influence, and uh, you know they are talking about uh, their business in like a. YouTube or like a TV, how they can influence. 
yeah. uh, to the young people. Yes, from the YouTube, TikTok, and then Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have uh, a lot of influencer talking about entrepreneur. Wow, I have a the kind of an old friend in the Jakarta. Uh, mm -hmm. He is a seems like he is a famous entrepreneur, uh, the investor, and uh, I'm uh, connecting with him with uh, um, the uh, Facebook, and uh, he is always talking to the young people, younger people about uh, uh, in front of the lot of young people. So I thought that wow. Young people must have interest about uh, the entrepreneur or doing business. So that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. But young people now are using a lot of um, platform of uh, TikTok and mm. also YouTube. Uh, all, only old generation using Facebook. That's a uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, the young generation, Gen, uh, Gen Z right now. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yes. See. TikTok is a very, very uh, popular um, platform for mm. young people now because of the short of the uh, long length of the uh, content. So mm. they move and move about uh, any kind of information. So we, we can mm. get from the TikTok. So maybe, wow. Professor, you, ha you can have the content in the TikTok, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should start because... Uh, I, I don't have the, the, the TikTok uh, platform. No, I should start. You should start from direct to connect. Start. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is there any 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 other uh, motivation that you will share with us, Professor? Um. I, I was very happy to get a lot of the question. Like uh, in Japan, we do this kind of a seminar in uh, online. Uh, only the few questions, sometimes no question. But now uh, you have a lot of the question asking me about your uh, uh, the question. Also, you guys all have a uh, good energy. So I was very impressed. And about all the students, also faculties. Also, I thought a very good video. And I think that the, your video about uh, introducing the, your university was very good. Thank so you. So I was very impressed about the, today's event. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Katsu. So, ladies and gentlemen, we come to an end. Uh, we hope that this, uh, we already shared the knowledge from the professor. We'll, brighten our thoughts uh, and for, and, or maybe the ideas for having a new or uh, a brave, uh, brave heart to, to, uh, to start the entrepreneur. Okay, please give a big applause to our speaker, Professor Katsu Takahashi. Thank you. Arigatou Thank you very much. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Okay, now I uh, give to Mr. Budi. Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, thank you, uh, Miss Heidi, for interesting and great presentation, uh, Prof. Katsunari Takasi. Uh, and then, last step further to the next agenda. Anyway, we have virtual certificate handover session for the speaker, Mr. Rafi and friends. Please show the virtual certificate. Yeah, that that's it, Prof. Uh, that that this is a huge appreciation from us to you, and we hope you are delighted and will collaborate with us again in the future. Yes, definitely, we'd like to collaborate again with you. And uh, I'm thinking, I hope uh, that, that we can uh, take our student uh, to uh, Indonesia uh, to have a good experience in your institution. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, now the agenda is reading of executive summary by the chairman of the committee to Dr. Yudikus Warojati, SAMPA. Please, uh, the time is yours. Thank you, Mr. Budi. 
Distinguished guests, please allow me to present an executive summary of the international public lecture material this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, as a country known for its high integrity and disciplines, the country of the rising sun is very suitable for doing business. Considering there are many factors that can determine it, therefore seizing business opportunities in Japan is very appropriate because it has the potential to grow. In Japan, many people feel a stable and secure company is considered a good choice to work. Capturing business opportunities in Japan must rely on understanding and following Japanese cultural ethics in doing business. The reason is Japan is always committed to every decision it makes. Japanese traditions in business always prioritize discipline and honesty. Thus, when doing business with the Japanese people, you must prioritize trust. Uh, of course, there is some reason or challenges why Japan has so few entrepreneurs, but these challenges are increasingly minimized by more entrepreneurship education and training by universities and more local governments willing to support the entrepreneurship. To gain profit in business, Japanese people always prioritize providing the best quality service to its consumer. The tradition has been going on for a long time, so that many Japanese companies have developed it rapidly and have extensive business network. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Dr. Yudi. And now uh, the time for closing speech from Vice Dean of Academic Affairs to Dr. Hadi Juanim, SAMSE. Please, the time is yours. Okay, <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Budi. <clears throat> uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you to each and every one of you for still being here today at this online e uh, online event. Uh, I'm my name is Dr. Juani, Vice Dean of Academy. It is such uh, an honor for me to speak close closing on behalf of uh, the dean today uh, with. Uh, deep gratitude. We have uh, successfully concluded this highly valuable international public lecture. This event has provided to platform uh, for knowledge sharing, expanding our horizon, and enriching our outstanding in relevant and important field. On this occasion, uh, allow me to express uh, sincere thanks to Professor Katsunori Takashi, the speaker, who has made an outstanding contribution uh, to this event. Through his knowledge and experience, he has provided valuable insight to all of us. Thank you. You have shared your knowledge with dedication and enthusiasm. Your presentation has provided a deep, deeper understanding of complex and fascinating topic. We greatly appreciate the inspiring setting. In your presentation, we have gained a new insight, innovative idea and uh, perspective that uh, challenge paradigm. You have helped us uh, see issue from different angle and simulated critical thinking and meaningful discussion. Additionally, we would like to express our gratitude to all participants who have attend, attended this event. Thank you to all our partners for honoring our invitation, uh, the, extra, the, the extraordinary discussion session. Your active engagement, involvement, and question rights have added significant valuable to this event. 
uh, the spirit uh, discussion and collaboration have created a productive and constructive atmosphere. Uh, we must not forget to extend our thank you, thanks to the entire organization team who works tirelessly be, uh, behind the scene to ensure the success of this event. Without your dedication and hard work, this event would, uh, would not have run uh, as smoothly and successfully. Uh, now, uh, as we bring uh, this event to close, let us keep the spirit uh, and knowledge we have gained today alive with us. Let us continue to, uh, to develop and apply uh, the knowledge we have required in our daily life, both in the workplace and personal development. Once again, thank you to Professor Katsunori Takashi for making significant contribution to that event. Thank you for all participants. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, uh, Mr. Feistin. And to all participants, don't forget to fill the attendance list. So we will have the certificate later on and we will send through your email. And uh, the happy audience, we are in the end of the International Public Lecture and we feel honored and we would like to thank the honorable speaker, Professor Katsune Takasi, our university partners from Korea, Malaysia, Thailand, Yogyakarta, Malang, and also Bali. Many thanks to the committee as well. And once again, I would like to say thank you very much. And let's close this event. Have a nice day to all of you. See you next time. And wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Makasih. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. 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 We all hope that you will come to Bandung with Professor Katsu. Thank you. Nah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm living now.